If you remember from a couple of weeks ago, you know what, I'll just play the clip. He asked his followers and his viewers if he should release a Dumble style overdrive or a Bogner slash Boogie style overdrive. The results were that. Personally, I voted for the Dumble one, but this one won the vote and this is the one we have. I promised you when I first started this channel that I would never lie to you, but I don't think this was a lie. This was more of a concealment because he actually made both.
What is up, YouTube? My name is Buddy Blues, and it's Small Business Tuesday, which is my favorite kind of Tuesday. Today, we look at the Broiler Overdrive by LPD Pedals. Boy, do I love this thing. We've seen LPD pedals a few times on this channel. If you haven't seen any of these videos yet, if this is your first time here, go back, watch a few of them. They're all a masterclass in tone. Not me, I have nothing to do with that. I'm just a schmuck with a guitar. It's him, it's Lawrence, it's how he does it. I've said it many times when I talk about LPD, he nails the feel and the sound. Getting a pedal that, I've said this a million times, getting a pedal that sounds like a plexi, sounds like a dumble, sounds like a whatever, it, 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 I'm sure it's difficult, but I've got a plug-in on my computer that does that. I take my guitar and I plug it in, and there you go, there's the sound. However, getting it to feel like an amp, the pedal, getting it to feel like an amp to where when I roll off the volume, where I mess with the tone, where I mess with the, with the EQ on here or level or whatever, for it to react like an amp, that's a whole different beast and that's where he perfects his craft. Huge fan of Lawrence, huge fan of LPD. We can sit here and talk all day about him, but this is about the pedal, not about him. <laughs> what is it? It is a Dumble style overdrive. But Alexander Dumble made a lot of different Dumbles and you can't really nail that. Listen, mother <laughs> We know, we know. I haven't played the Dumble and neither have you. We know that. But we know the sound of the dumble, of that dumble overdrive, the overdrive circuit of the dumble, right? We know that sound. It's rich, it's thick, it's creamy, it's, it's those words that guitarists use. You get that sound, you can nail the Robin Ford thing with it. You can, it, it's, it's good. It is good. What have we got? Level, that's volume. Drive, which is the gain, okay? <laughs> Then we have a, a three band EQ, which is treble, mids, and bass. I don't know how he does it, but his EQ is very, very good. So it's, everything reacts together rather than treble, mid, bass. Everything reacts together. So if I move the treble a bit, the graph kind of moves, it's great. Just like an amp, by the way, your amp is like that, did you know that? <laughs> you just heard it with the DGT on the backing track. We're gonna stick with the DGT because it has a very, very good split. So when are we gonna get some single coil action, we'll just do that. And I haven't played that guitar for you in a while and I keep getting asked, where is it? It's here. Hmm. Fender Supersonic 22, it's the cleanest amp that I have, that way you can really hear this shine. Oxbox, let's get to it. Thank you. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have now heard the broiler overdrive from LPD. Anytime you see this color scheme, ladies and people, it means it's a limited edition pedal. The Mach 1 that we did a couple of weeks ago sold out very quickly. Act fast. I don't get a kickback. I don't get a commission. I don't get anything if you buy this or if you buy the company from LPD. All I'm doing is just giving you friendly advice. If you want this, act quick, act now. I'm going to have a link in the description below for you. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Consider subscribing, buying a t-shirt. You know what? Buy nothing. How about that? Subscribe and like. That would be lovely. It just shows me that you enjoyed the video and that I should keep making videos rather than quit and go work at Subway. I just offended someone that works at Subway. There's nothing wrong with working at Subway. Subway's great. Thank you so much for joining me on this lovely Small Business Tuesday on a Thursday because Lawrence never agrees to release a pedal on a Tuesday. I understand the world does not revolve around the title of my show, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I have been Buddy Blues. You have been the people of the blues. Until next time, thank you for watching.